Hi, and welcome to another segment of Ask Jesse. Gusty writes from Chicago, what are the size differences between the single band, double band, and triple band spinner rings? Well, let me show you. This is the single band, the double band, and the triple band. These are all size 10 rings. Each step up is roughly 50% wider than the last. There is a chart up now on update 36 to show the different widths based on the different sizes. Georgia Peach writes from Atlanta, how well do the double and triple band rings spin? Let's take a look. As you can see, each band has its own groove, so each band spins independently without affecting the other's outcome. Here's the awesome triple band ring. Just like the double band ring, each spins independently. Peapod from Madagascar writes, Can we see the life counter rings in action? Yes, you can. This is the life counter ring. The spring in the middle of the two bands compresses as you click either band. The edge notches hold the band in place so you don't lose your number. This is just a functional prototype and doesn't have the arrows on it. The next one will. The life counter ring will be the same exact size and width as the double band dice rings. Pumba from the Plains writes, Will my ring spin great as soon as I get it? If it gets stuck, what should I do? I'll let Aaron show you how to take care of it. If your ring seems gritty when you first get it, it may have some dust in it from the manufacturing process. This is really easy to fix. Uh, this is one of our black R20s and it spins pretty well right now. So to simulate factory crud, I have this big bowl of soil. Now this is kind of dry, so that's no good. There we go. Now we have some nice muddy soil. And for factory dust, just gonna roll this ring around in there. Mmm. That's good. So here we have our not so fresh R20. Let's give this baby a spin. That's <laughs> actually still pretty good. I guess our I guess our rings are just that rock salt. We'll try to dirty it up some more. Oh, oh, why would I do that? Oh, it's so, so much dirt. Mmm. Alright. So. Give it another spin. Yeah. That's definitely a little worse. So how do we fix this, Aaron? I'm glad you asked, Kickstarter. Here we have a freshly clean bowl. Ring is still in pretty terrible condition. Now to give it the best cleaning, I fill a bowl with soapy water. And you can just use dish soap. Uh, some nice warm water. I'm gonna rinse the extra dirt off my hand. Now, you take your ring and completely submerge it in the soapy water. And while it's underwater, spin it. And I flip it upside down, spin it some more. And you should be able to feel when there's no more crud in there. You can just kind of pinch and roll. All right. Give it a test spin. Doing much better. Now once you've soaked out most of the crud, just run it underwater. And you want to get all that soap out of there too. So while it's underwater, spin it. And uh, if it ever gets dirty again, follow the same process. 
Normally just rinsing it under the tap is good enough to clean most things out. But if it gets really grungy, soapy water.